Okay, I just wanted to give a brief lecture on how to make random numbers in Java. Just pretending I'm in class with a whiteboard right here, but I'm actually sitting on the floor at home. So, making random numbers, the first thing you have to do is import from java.util, which stands for utilities the random class, starting with a capital R. So once you do that at the top of your program, you have access to this random class. There's actually two ways of making random numbers in Java. One is using the random class, and the other is using a built-in method within the math class called random. So we'll cover this one first. So first of all, once you've imported that, that's step one, that's at the top of your program. And to skip down a bit, inside the class is main method, we would need to construct an object. So to construct an object, you would say the name of the class, which is random. You don't have to give it a fantastic name, R is good enough, equals new random. Now once you've made that object, then you can start using it. So let's say I make an integer, I want to call it num, and I want it to be a number between 1 and 10. I could use my random object called r, and I can use its method called next int, with a capital I. And if I put a number in here like 10, that's going to give me a number between 0 and 9. It always starts from 0 and goes up to but not including this number here. So 0 to 9. OK, so the next thing I might want to do is maybe I want to make the range not start at 0. So uh, maybe I want to make an integer that represents um, rolling a die from 1 to 6. So if I say next int, and there's actually six numbers, so I do want to put a 6 in here, but that would give me the numbers from 0 to 5. So in order to go 1 to 6, I would just add 1 onto the end of it. And in this case, that would give me So give me a number between 1 and 6. Because if this part of the expression right here, if that was a 0 at the lowest, when I add 1, it's going to become a 1. If it was a 5, which would be the highest this could be, when I add 1, it would become 6. So by simply adding or subtracting something on the end, you can shift the range of numbers appropriately. So let's say I want to maybe go from negative 10 to positive 10. Actually, let's just reuse that. num equals r dot next int. And if we're trying to go from, let's say, Get rid of this for now. We want a number from negative 10 to positive 10. How many numbers is that? Well, some might say 20, but it's actually 21 because you have to include 0. So this is going to be 21 in here because 0 to negative 1 is or sorry, negative 10 to negative 1 is 10 numbers. 1 to 10 is another 10 numbers, but including 0 is actually 21. Then after, this would give us a number between, this part here would be giving us a number, just this part here would be from 0 to 20, right? Because 0 to 20, uh, 
it does starts at zero but doesn't include that number right so if we want to shift that number to go to negative 10 all i need to do is to subtract 10 from that and now if it were a zero this zero when you subtract zero it would become negative 10 at the high end here when i possibly generate a 20 with this section when i subtract 10 from 20 i would get positive 10. so the high end becomes positive 10 the low end becomes instead of zero when you subtract 10 it becomes negative 10. so that would do it sorry i need to move that up a little bit yeah so that's, that's a brief introduction. Let me stop this and we'll give a quiz.